I'm Mona with Mo Sweets. Today I'm going to show you how to make sugar cookies. I'm going to be using my favorite sugar cookie recipe called the best sugar cookies, courtesy of Sally's Baking Addiction. Since kitten season is in full swing, I chose a cat cookie design. Here is the cat cookie cutter, and this is how we are going to be decorating the sugar cookies. Have a bake sale or share with friends and neighbors, but tell them how they can help support the Austin Humane Society. Let's go. First, we mix the dry ingredients. Whisk two and one fourth cup flour, a half a teaspoon baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon salt in a medium sized bowl. In a large bowl, using a hand mixer or a stand mixer fitted with paddle attachment, beat 3 fourths cup butter and 3 fourths cup sugar on high speed until completely smooth and creamy, about two minutes. of vanilla and one fourth to one half teaspoon of almond extract. Be on high speed until combined. to the wet ingredients and mix on low until completely combined. <laughs> Divide the dough into two equal parts. Place each portion of the dough onto lightly floured parchment paper or lightly floured silicone baking mat. Roll the dough to about a 1 4th inch thickness. Lightly dust one of the rolled out doughs with flour. Place a piece of parchment paper right on top. Then take the second piece of dough, put it on top, and then cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate one to two hours. See you soon. Hi again. Now, preheat the oven to 350 degrees and line two to three large baking sheets with parchment paper or silicone baking mats. Carefully remove the top piece of dough from the refrigerator. Using a cookie cutter, cut the dough into shapes. Reroll the excess dough and keep using until it is all used up. Repeat with the second piece of dough. Arrange cookies on baking sheet three inches apart. Bake for 11 to 12 minutes until lightly browned around the edges. Allow cookies to cool completely on the baking sheet for five minutes. Then transfer them to a wire rack. Cool completely before decorating. To make the royal icing, you will need four cups of sifted confectioner sugar, three tablespoons of meringue powder, and nine to 10 tablespoons of room temperature water. In a large bowl, using a hand mixer or a stand mixer fitted with a whisk attachment, you will beat all these ingredients on high speed until combined for about one, one and a half to two minutes. 
decorate. Um, here is our design. Uh, we're going to do white for now and then later we're going to do some orange and then we're going to let it sit in the fridge and do the details when it's totally dry. So here I have my piping bag and I'm going to fill it with my royal icing. details. We have pink for the ears and nose and then black for the eyes and whiskers and the mouth. Let's do it! shower on the Austin Humane Society's website for more details on how you can support this great organization. Have fun baking! <laughs>